Skulldiver. Here's what I don't get. Why invade Cyberstam? Nothing there besides a bunch of mines and cyborgs. You ask me, the cyborgs are behind this whole thing. Or maybe the automatons just want to use the cyborgs. Or maybe this is just another distraction and the real, real attack is still coming. Yeah, <laughs> I bet that's it. Watch your back, Helldiver. From here on out, I'm not using a single device that comes even close to thinking for itself. I swapped out my tablet for a notepad, my microwave for a gas stove, and my watch for a pendulum. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. There might be a lot of automatons, but at the end of the day, they're just a bunch of mass-produced walking scrap. Every Helldiver is an army of one. Put four of them on a team, that's four armies. So, who really has the numbers advantage? Democracy is kind of like these machines I work on. Needs regular maintenance to keep running smoothly. And the bugs are sort of like if bugs got into one of these machines. The only thing to do would be to exterminate them. Before I joined the service, I'd never left my home planet. Now I see a new planet almost every day. It makes me appreciate what a beautiful democracy it'll be once we finish stamping out those fascist bugs. Super Earth really is the best place to live in the entire galaxy, isn't it? Sometimes when I can't sleep, I imagine what it would be like to live there. If I were a Helldiver, I think my favorite enemy to kill would be the bots. I bet watching them spark and explode really lights up your freedom-loving heart. When I face Super Earth with a vow of allegiance every morning, I can almost always feel where it is. Even in a brand new part of the galaxy. I heard the Chow Hall got a shipment of purples in today. They're not my favorite food, personally, but it's nice just to have something different. Nobody back home can believe I get to talk to Helldivers every day. I mean, I don't blame them. All of us had Helldiver posters all over our bedrooms growing up. I still have to pinch myself sometimes. I remember when I was a kid, they sold stickers in the Freedom Catalog that were in these little squish bugs. You put them on the bottom of your boot and it, it was like you were squashing bugs every time you took a step. Everyone was collecting them, trying to get the rare ones. Man, those things were cool. Hey there, Helldiver. I know you put your neck on the line for regular folks like me every day. It's not much, but I donate 15% of every one of my paychecks to the War Fund. It's the least I can do. When I need some motivation, I like to read the Helldiver ethos. Picks me right up. Sometimes I read too much and get overly motivated and kind of jittery and need to put it down. Helldiver! Every day you put yourself at risk to defend freedom and liberty, and I just want to say, thank you. I'm hoping to raise my citizenship level by the time I retire. If I ever have kids, I'd want them to be able to purchase a small pet someday. Like a goldfish. Or a hamster. Flag forsaken bots. They just won't accept freedom, no matter how hard we give it to them. Whenever the war gets me down, I try to remember that at least I'm a free citizen. It's up to me how I serve Super Earth. Can't take that for granted. If I had all the super credits in the galaxy, I'd try to find some way to convince our enemies to embrace freedom. Maybe print a trillion pamphlets, or, or build a billion interplanetary radio stations. Something to break through whatever propaganda they're feeding them. <sighs> it's just a pipe dream. We gotta kill them all. It's fish fry night at the Chow Hall. I don't know what planets they get these fish from, and I don't care. It's all fried, and it's all good. If I were a Helldiver, I think my favorite enemy to kill would be the bugs. It's gotta be real satisfying, hearing them crunch under your boot. You know, sometimes, as a technician, you gotta realize when something's beyond repair. If it comes to these automatons, there's no fixing them. Only solution is to wipe the slate clean. I earned a few more citizenship points the other day. All it took was reporting some unpatriotic talk I heard in the barracks. Now there's one less dissident, and I get one more doctor's visit every year. Long ship deployments are great for saving up. You get the family separation bonus, which more than makes up for the bunk and chow fees. Of course, I don't qualify for the bonus since I haven't been approved yet, but once I am, I'll have a nice nest egg saved up. Back when I was a kid, we used to play bug killers out in the schoolyard. Whoever could kill the most bugs by the end of recess, won. Sometimes the teachers would join in too. I heard dissidents set another weapons factory on fire. They didn't take responsibility, of course. Tried to blame it on working conditions. Tell that to the 27 dead patriots and their families. 
much as I hate the bugs, I hate dissidents even more. They were handed freedom and chose to spit in its face. Death is too good for them. Sometimes, I almost feel bad for our enemies, living in that democracy. No say over their own lives, just believe in whatever they're told. Sad. I heard that some dissidents wanted us to select our own candidates instead of using the algorithm. <laughs> Great idea. Everyone will just become a political expert overnight. Treasonous morons. I still remember filling out my very first Democratic preferences ballot. Whew, what a rush. If you ever run into any equipment issues, let me know. I've got your back. Uh, I just set all the ship's clocks back an hour for freedom savings time. I'm gonna spend my extra hour doing another round of maintenance checks. It's nice, because today I won't have to work overtime to get them done. Back when I was a kid, the local loyalty officer would give us sweets for telling him what was going on with the adults around town. Things they were saying, where they were headed, that sort of stuff. Nice to look back and know you were helping keep everyone safe, even if you didn't know. Wonder which candidate will be selected for me in this upcoming election. When I was a kid, I always loved All Heroes Eve. The adults would all dress up as bugs and ring our doorbells, and we'd have to fire three shots in the air and say, No fascism here, insects! At the end of the night, they'd reenact the Battle of Liberty Peak, and we'd all get cake. Oh, I can't wait to get home again. It's the little things you miss, you know? Like sitting in candlelight on Heroes Day, chanting with my family, and renewing our vows of citizenship together. I don't know how you do it, Helldiver. Facing off against monsters who haven't got a democratic bone in their body. If they even have bones. You know, if it weren't for Super Earth, I couldn't even afford these high-tech tools I use every day. And they lease them out to me so I can do my job. Pretty low interest rate, too. 